Yeah, what do you mean? Like, seriously, you knew we were going to talk today. Have you lost your fucking mind? Yeah, I knew that we were going to talk today. I, 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 no, 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 no. This ain't how shit work. It don't work like that. When somebody reaches out to you, you, the protocol, the process and pro normal etiquette, what process and protocol? Normal etiquette is, is that you say something. You don't just say nothing. That's not how this works. Look, honestly, if you were anybody else, I'd say, fuck you. Get the fuck out of my company. That's what I did to my nephew. And that's my fucking nephew. That's my blood. And I love him. You understand what I'm saying? You don't just not say anything. That shit is rude as fuck. Do you understand that? Hey, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I just knew that we were going to no, get together today. Know that you sorry I feel, boy, you sorry I feel, I feel that way? If this ain't what you want to do, resign now. But this shit you got going on is disrespectful at that. Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. No, you're you're getting really upset. No, no, you're getting no, very upset. No, I'm no, saying no, we were going to meet today. No, I had a no, very Jonathan, busy... Hey, do you hear me talking? I hear you Jonathan, talking, but you're getting very upset right now. Stop talking. And you should stop talking. When you but you're not going to talk to people I'm crazy, Lawrence. Come on. You got to relax. I'm not your elder. I'm, I'm I, I, I understand I'm that, but you have to calm I down. Know. You have to calm down. Hey, Jonathan. I get it. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. You talking to the wrong guy right now? And I'm no, Lawrence, I'm not I'm not being disrespectful. Hey, Jonathan, but you're being disrespectful. You, you gotta you gotta relax. Right you gotta You should actually stop talking. Well, not you if you're talking to me talking. like that. I'm not one of the other people. You okay. can't be talking to people like yes. that. I, so I, you gotta actually, relax. Jonathan, yes, actually, you're gonna stop talking to me like I'm your goddamn girlfriend. Well Seriously. or you can stop talking to me like I'm your child. No, actually, mutual Jonathan, respect, Lawrence. Mutual respect. Actually, Age, age do not matter. Age do not boy, matter in this conversation. Stop talking. So, boy, stop talking. Lawrence, stop talking. I'm not gonna deal with that type of disrespect. So you gotta, okay. you gotta calm down. If you want to have a conversation wait, with me, we should have that one on one with our Zara wait, here. Jonathan. It is you and me. You're done. You're fired. Bye. Okay. No problem. Take care, brother. So in this video, this CEO is berating this unpaid intern and continually disrespecting him, saying things like, boy, stop talking, boy, stop talking, over and over and over, while the intern is just trying to calm the conversation down and, and bring it to a respectable level. All the intern's trying to do is get the CEO to talk to him with respect. And you might be wondering what led to this Zoom call and the reason the CEO is so angry. And you can read the article about it if you want, but I'm going to save you about 10 minutes because it's really simple. Basically, the CEO of this company sent this unpaid intern a meeting notice on a Friday, on a Friday afternoon. And the unpaid intern didn't notice the meeting in his inbox because he was really busy with tasks that he had to do. By the time the intern noticed the meeting, it was already the weekend because the intern was working over the weekend. And the intern didn't want to reply to the CEO in what he called strange hours, meaning off work weekend hours. And the intern knew that him and the CEO already had a pre-scheduled meeting that following Monday. So instead of replying to the CEO off hours over the weekend, the intern just decided to wait until Monday morning when they already had a scheduled meeting to discuss whatever the CEO wanted to discuss. And as a result, the CEO became extremely angry and you had this phone call that you just watched transpire. If you're wondering who the CEO is in this video, it's this guy. It's this person named Lawrence Griffith, and he owns this company called Digital Factory. Now, Digital Factory is an interesting company because they bring in very little revenue, and because of that, the majority of their workers in their company are unpaid interns. Reading through the Glassdoor reviews of this company is quite hilarious, and we're going to get to that in a second here. But first, I wanted to show you guys their website, and this is Digital Factory's website. If you're wondering what this company does, they basically provide geolocation tagging services to apps on iPhones and Androids. So they provide some software that integrates with apps and people can use for geolocation tagging for targeted advertisements. And they have a very simple website. There's not a lot of information here. They have a system uh, tab that goes over what their product is, this geolocation tagging. And they have this culture tab. And I, I thought this was 
interesting so let's click on it and let's see what what's in the culture tab um, looks like they just have a video they have our team here again Lawrence Griffith he's the CEO and the founder he just looks pissed off in this picture they didn't even use a happy picture of him for his own website uh, we can scroll down presumably a lot of these people are just unpaid interns our responsibility a digital factory we believe that people have untapped gifts of talent that only need a helping hand to unlock training and education are keys to growing future leaders of the community hey Lawrence I saw the video as well as hundreds of thousands of other people I get what you mean by helping hand I understand man I can read between the lines on your website I, I get exactly what you mean by you offer employees a helping hand their website goes on to talk about all these meaningless things. We have 60 years of combined tech expertise. We have 75 years of combined marketing, 40 years of combined analytic experience. What you're really telling me here is that you probably have like 20-ish unpaid interns and each of those interns has like two years of work experience. So combined, when you combine the power of all the young unpaid interns being taken advantage of, you get 60 years of just raw industry experience. This gives me a lot of confidence in your company, Lawrence, especially if I was an investor, I would totally invest in your company because this just proves to me that you're gonna be successful. And because of the video, I was just naturally curious what their Glassdoor profile looks like. And here it is, you have Digital Factory, they have 62 reviews, they have nine salaries, 21 interviews. Uh, we can scroll down. They have a 2.3 overall rating. Here's a picture of Lawrence again. There's there's 13 ratings on Lawrence. 33% of people approve of the CEO. 26% would recommend to a friend. These are really bad ratings. Like these aren't like bottom tier atrocious, but these are pretty bad ratings for a company to have. Let's look at some of these reviews that people posted. Okay, internship, no payment, strict hours, hourly work versus deadline oriented. Again, one of the common themes you're going to see here is a lot of unpaid interns because Lawrence built his company off of unpaid interns. We'll pay you in experience. That's Lawrence's mantra. Not enough training slash mentorship. No work meeting for more than a month. Lack of personal improvement. No connection between employees. Lack of personal improvement. That's weird because in their bare bones website, one of the few pieces of text they have says that training and education are the key to developing future leaders. So I guess even that's not true. Going downhill fast. Good place to get experience. Easy work. Employees are good people. I, I don't doubt that. I'm sure the employees are good people. Cons. The hours are extreme. The CEO is demeaning and wants people to be able to work 24-7, including holidays. So you're an unpaid intern and you have to work extreme hours. And as an unpaid intern, you get no holidays off. Beware of fake reviews. For starters, at one point last October, the company sent out an email asking for all employees to write fake positive reviews on Glassdoor and indeed to boost applications. Only a handful of people did, but it was still enough to make the company look all right when in fact it is awful. So maybe instead of like 2.1 stars, this company should actually be closer to 0.5 or 1 star. On top of that, no one is paid. Management is abusive and the company does not respect your personal time. It's not an enjoyable place to work and definitely not a place to build a career. Glad the video came out. Pros, none. Stay away for your own well-being. Cons, management. Little to no respect for employees. CEO is a bum. I'm sure other people here do great work despite him. Pros, computers are pretty cool tools. Yeah, man, computers are pretty cool tools. I agree with that. Cons. I saw the video of the CEO exploding on an unpaid intern. For those of you who don't know what an unpaid intern is, that is someone who does work for completely free. I mean, it's it's in the name, man. Uh, unpaid intern, you're, you're not going to get paid and you're going to do a bunch of internship work for experience. Guy is a loser and as someone who has worked in the professional world at a high level for a long time, I would stay away from this type of quote unquote leader. There is zero reason to get upset at someone who's doing something for free. I agree. You should not berate employees and then fire them if they're giving you free labor. You should respect them and thank them. Don't join. Cons. Management is the problem. There is no proper division of labor. Too much confusion created by upper management. Absolutely do not recommend. Extremely unorganized. Unpaid. No transparency regarding finances. Angry responses to questions. Don't work here. 
Countless unpaid roles, unsupportive management, lack of structure. There's a common theme I'm seeing here where all these people are just complaining about being overworked, unpaid interns who aren't even respected by their managers. If you're a manager and you have an unpaid intern, you should be the most thankful person in the world to them because you have a human being who's providing you labor for free, who's creating revenue for you, who's creating money for you so you can go buy your yacht or go buy a new car or whatever else you want to buy. And that person is doing so completely for free because they're probably young and they don't have a lot of work experience. They want to work at your company to gain experience. People like Lawrence are not that rare and it's really unfortunate that people like this exist. Just go to AngelList and see how many CEOs are there just trying to take advantage of unpaid interns for nothing in return or maybe they'll give somebody meaningless equity in a valueless company in return for building their entire product base. Which, come to think of it, maybe we'll do a video on AngelList. That might be a good place to look for the next one. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really feel bad for the intern getting yelled at and fired by his abusive CEO at the start of this video. But I really hope that guy's off doing better things now. If you don't know who I am, my name's Levi. I make videos about corporate cringe. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.